Hello everyone. Today I'll be making something special, something that brings back to me a lot of childhood memories from when I was in Romania and my grandparents and my mom used to make a um, great drink for summer, which we called socata. And, and uh, here in the United States, I guess they would call it elderflower cordial. So for that, you will need the following. You'll need the elderflower, and these are it. And we picked these up in the Metro Parks. We were driving yesterday, my husband and I, and we found a, a large bush which was in flower. So we try to pick all of them and try to mark our location to know where to go for next year. These are not treated. They are with pesticides. They are out in, um, in nowhere pretty much off of beaten path uh, and uh, that's why I chose to take them because if you take them from the uh, side of the road um, a lot of fumes from the cars and a lot of pollution you don't want something like that but anyway so we picked these last night and you have to um, make this right away because the flowers will dry up and you could dry them up and use them for tea for winter because this flower is very high in antioxidant and also very high in vitamin C. Uh, great for your immune system, great for fall season. And uh, from, I b believe from May until the end of June, you can find these flowers, but you have to find them in bloom pretty much and then you use them. So what, what you'll need is elderberry flowers or elder flower. The elderberry comes from the elder flower, but elder flower. I have about 20 small size uh, lemons you would need, but I chose to use, these are 10 lemons here, if you can believe it, but look, look at this lemon that I just purchased. Um, they're so big and they're juicy. They're very nice. I'm gonna see if that's enough. I have a five gallon glass container. And the reason I'm doing it outside is because I wanna leave it out in the sun for five days. Um, like you would do uh, sun tea outside. So again, you need a, I have a five gallon jug here. I have the flowers here. You need about 30 flowers, heads of flowers. I have about 20 small lemons. And uh, I'm gonna put a couple of raisins, organic raisins in this. It'll give it that special taste. Um, uh, I, I like this taste when you just put a couple of them, not a lot. And then I am gonna use honey instead of sugar. So without any further ado, I'm gonna go ahead and place all my flowers into the uh, glass container here. Now you need to cut off these stems and you usually, it's nice to have a bigger mouth so that it's easier for you to pour everything in. But since I had this and I am not gonna go out, I try to go out to find, I can't say I didn't. Um, and I could not find anything, the mouth uh, big enough. Or if I did find it, it was very expensive and I chose not to, to, to buy it. So I'll uh, put all these flowers in, which will follow up with um, my raisins, then the lemons, and then uh, the honey. And of course, water all the way up. And then um, you just leave it out in the sun. I am gonna cover the top to make sure that not, no bugs or no nothing else insects get inside my bottle. And I will, that, the reason I'm filming outside is because I want to leave it in the sun and I did not want to carry this big jug outside. I will most likely put it down on my deck here and um, I could watch it real easy. I can mix it up a little bit, like uh, just kind of move it around. That's you know, about all I can do once it's full because it's so heavy. But this jug has been around for a very long time. We've had it when I came here from uh, Romania and my parents used to make wine and I think we had about two or three of these. I only have one left. I don't know where the other ones are. I wish I did. I, I love them. We also make wine sometimes in them. But I'm going to use this because uh, I want to leave it outside in the sun and uh, we will get this wonderful drink that we can all drink and keep it in the refrigerator for a couple weeks uh, if it lasts that long and uh, enjoy it with uh, 
family and friends and we have plenty of family and a lot of friends thank god and we can um, uh, all reminisce about how wonderful it is to be able to pick plants out of nature and be able to make this wonderful drink and um, and keep this uh, tradition going. I'm gonna show my grandkids and I'm gonna uh, leave this uh, recording for them. Hopefully they will make it. And um, I know they like the drink, but because in Romania they do bottle this and they, they sell it as a drink like they would Pepsi or Sprite here. And it's actually pretty good. It's very good tasting. But in here, I know exactly what I'm putting in this drink. And that's why I like this uh, better than going out and buying it from a European store. So um, I'm going to continue doing this and I will return. Okay, we're back. And I have the whole thing set up here. The elderflower cordial ready for the water. I've already started to pour water in there. And um, I'm carrying it with this jug because I'm using, I have well water that is filtered, which is probably the best. And for this kind of drink, so what do we have here again? Um, we have honey. Instead of two jars, I put three jars. I wanted to make sure that there was enough because this is five gallons. And um, I have 20 lemons. Uh, or 10 large lemons. I cut them up. I have about 40 flowers of um, elderberry, elder, elder flower, not elderberry, but elder flower, and some raisins. So about 15 raisins that I've put in there. That is all. And now I'm gonna add water all the way up to here. I'm gonna shake it up as much as I can. And I am gonna let it sit out in the sun for five days. So I will be back when this is full and um, once more, I will uh, let you know once again, um, a little bit about this drink and uh, how good it is for you and the all the nutrients that you would get from here because it has no sugar. Yes, it has honey, but uh, honey is a lot better than sugar. Our body is uh, uh, be better handles honey than sugar and um, of course not a lot but this is five gallons and this is a, a big quantity so i will return so we're back and as you can see i have all the water in this uh, five gallon uh, jug a glass jug that i have here for my elderflower cordial drink that i will make and will be ready in five days to drink i'm not going to shake i attempted to shake uh, this large jug and it was kind of hard so my husband gave me the idea to just have a we have a um, hose a clear hose that we use for wine and it was clean I, I washed it with water even more I poured it I put it right down to the bottom of this jug here sorry about that I'm trying to film in to show you this so um, all the way down and what I'm doing is I am just gonna uh, just uh, uh, push some air into the this jug to try to mix up the honey and uh, everything that's in there the water let's see so this is what I'm gonna be doing about twice three times a day but as I'm leaving it in the, in the Sun and I'll take it off and put on uh, a cheesecloth on top and with a rubber band to keep any bugs or anything from entering my my wonderful drink here and um, in five days um, I will uh, strain everything and put it into smaller bottles which I will keep in the refrigerator um, how long can we keep it in the refrigerator I really don't know because every time uh, we make this drink uh, everyone drinks it right away and we really don't have much time <laughs> to know exactly how long this would keep. What I would anticipate quite a, a couple weeks, three, two, three weeks for sure in the refrigerator. Uh, I hope that you liked this video and I hope that you share this video with other friends and family. Please like, share, and subscribe so that I can
uh, make more videos and you can see them. Um, I'd love to share everything that I know and everything that I do at our house with my friends and family. And uh, I wish you all the best and a wonderful rest of this week and God bless. Bye-bye.